What is going on traders? Huge news in the markets. A debt ceiling deal has been reached in principle between Republicans and Democrats. Obviously, this still has to go to a vote. Now, keep in mind that Janet Yellen pushed back the deadline from June 1st to June 5th. So they have until June 5th in order to vote on the deal. It is expected that they will both come to an agreement. What does this mean for the markets now that the S&P 500 has reached that pivotal 4200 level? Will this be a sell the news type of event? In my view, there will be tons of trading opportunities off of this, not only with provided volatility in the S&P 500 futures, NASDAQ futures, etc., especially with stocks like NVIDIA acting like meme stocks lately, but there will also be opportunities in bonds. I do think that, that bond yields are now surging as there has been a rush to stocks, right? Stocks and bonds are now competing. Bonds look less attractive than stocks at the moment because stocks are providing meme-like gains. And so bond yields are surging, but there will come a time where if the S&P 500 hits resistance, there might be a rush to safety once again, especially as CPI comes out June 13th. And we already saw that PCE came in higher than expected. And on June 14th, we have the FOMC meeting, which we will discuss because now it is looking more likely that the Fed is going to raise. So I'm going to get into all this. Obviously, I'm not in the studio. If you look behind me, I'm currently in Japan. If you want to follow my travels, etc., follow me on Instagram. I mostly post daily free trading and finance content but I also post content about where I'm traveling and what I'm doing. So follow me there. Follow me on Twitter for free daily trading and finance content as well. And if you want my most up-to-date trades and analysis in real time, you want to join the masterminds that we do each and every single month with all of the traders in the group. You want access to the chats that we do pre-market, during market, post-market hours with thousands of traders discussing ideas and strategies. Make sure that you apply, book a call. Link is in the description below. If you are approved, also mention that you want to take advantage of the Memorial Day sale. Don't miss out on that. We don't do many sales often. Let's get right into it. So as I said, a debt ceiling ag agreement has been reached in principle between the president, Joe Biden, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. What we know so far about the deal, the deal includes two-year appropriations and a two-year debt limit extension. This means that they will raise the debt limit and won't have to address it until at least after the next presidential election in 2024. Federal spending would need to cut back per the Republicans' condition, so non-defense discretionary spending we need to be limited to 1% annual growth for the next six years. And then any unused COVID-19 relief funds would need to be returned. There was roughly $4.5 trillion in relief, partly causing the inflation that we have today, if not wholly. Uh, and whatever money is left, they, I, I don't know, the, the estimates are, are not here, but they would need to estimate how much is left and then return those funds, which I think is fair. And then restart student loan repayments. Remember, student loan repayments were paused due to COVID. And then there were a few extensions. They were paused uh, up until today. But Republicans want student loan repayments to restart. So that could further impact, uh, obviously, the economy if now, uh, it, especially because we have inflation, a majority of uh, American spending has really been uh, increased due to the inflation that we've had. So now if, you know, a majority of Americans that have student loans have to now take into account expensive student loan repayments, uh, that could further have economic impacts, especially as the Fed continues raising rates. And I think now, based on all the data we have, I do think the Fed will do another rate hike. Let's actually talk about that now, because in terms of the deal, this is most of what's in the deal. Again, as I said, Republicans and Democrats have to vote. It has to pass the Senate, which is controlled by the Democrats. The House, which is controlled by the Republicans, has to pass both houses. It's expected to do so before the June 5th deadline. And I will talk about what effects this will have on the markets on the S&P 500, especially as we are at that 4,200 ceiling, that 4,200 resistance. But first, I do want to talk about uh, Fed rate hikes, right? So if we take a look at the Fed rate hikes, just uh, a week ago, there was only a 17% chance that the Fed would actually hike. Now we are at 65%. So more than likely, the Fed will do yet another rate hike. Why is that? Well, largely because the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, which is PCE, as you can see here, actually climbed higher than expected. Uh, this was not expected to, to come in higher than expectations, especially as CPI uh, continued to meet expectations and come in lower than uh, 5% now year over year. But PCE has once again climbed and now climbed higher than expected. So 
the Fed kind of shot themselves in the foot saying, hey, we're not really looking at CPI, we're looking at PCE. Well, now, guess what, motherfuckers? PCE actually is higher uh, than, than expectation. So that is the first reason. Second reason, obviously, unemployment surprisingly came down lower than expected for last month. It was, it looked like it was climbing, going from 3.4 to 3.6, then went back down to 3.5, and now the last reading is at 3.4. So it is definitely going the wrong way per the Fed. Obviously, the banking fears are not really fears if the Fed and the Treasury was willing to backstop each and every single deposit account. So we don't really have, you know, the, the banking fears, at least the ones in, in the regional banks that, that had popped up. Those aren't really fears if they are not a threat to potentially affect the economy negatively. And then obviously, I'm sure that the Fed is taking a look at surging bond yields. They're also taking a look at the fact that stocks like NVIDIA currently are acting like meme stocks, right? So this is sort of a signal that there is still too much liquidity in the system. NVIDIA obviously jumping uh, if, if you guys were hiding under a rock, I don't know how you missed this, but NVIDIA obviously jumping from uh, $300 around there to about $390 in one day. And those are just some of the key reasons why the F Fed watch tool now is projecting that the Fed actually raises a uh, 65% chance that the Fed does a 25 basis point raise on June 14th. Obviously, we have CPI the day before, so they do have the advantage of knowing what CPI is. And if CPI does come in higher than expected, then 100% they're going to raise on June 14th. And then lastly, if we take a look at the S&P 500, S&P is at 4,200 currently. That is a pivotal resistance level. Obviously we popped to 4,300 back in August. That is when inflation had peaked at 9.1% and was coming down. Uh, I do think that a debt ceiling deal, if they do vote, before June 5th and a debt ceiling agreement is reached, we can hit that 4,300. But here's the interesting part. And this is a question that I posed at the outset. Is this going to be a sell the news event? You might be saying to yourself, why would this be a sell the news event? Well, if you take a look at what happened in 2011, when we were at a very similar impasse, a debt ceiling deal was reached just a couple of days before the August deadline. However, after a deal was reached, the S&P 500 dropped 20% and didn't recover to those pre-debt ceiling highs until almost a year later, right? Now, obviously, we had the European debt crisis going on at the same time. But in this case, we do have uh, inflation reeling in Europe coming in higher than expected in some parts of Europe. And we don't know if uh, CPI is going to come in higher than expected in the US. So I do think that if the market did run a bit on you know, getting to this 4,200 level on the optimism that a debt ceiling deal is reached, if that is already priced in, then I would suspect that there would be some sort of sell the news effect after an initial pop. That is just my reading, not really a prediction, and I'm not really going to be basing trades off of that prediction. I'm going to be trading, day trading the volatility in and out. I do think this will provide a lot of juicy opportunities. Again, I'm not making a big bet on there being a sell the news event. I just would not be surprised if we saw an initial pop uh, after a vote has been reached or a vote has been passed in both the, the House and the Senate, and then a sell the news event if part of the run up to 4,200, 4,300, if, if baked in that was already the optimism that a debt ceiling deal would be reached, then there has to be a sell the news uh, type of effect in, in my opinion, right? Now, if the CPI comes in lower than expected or as expected, and if the Fed doesn't raise rates, on June 14th, then I do think that we could hit that 4,400, 4,500 resistance point, and then it's a wait and see until that point. However, if a debt ceiling deal is reached, if CPI comes in uh, as expected or worse, and if the Fed does a and or if the Fed does a rate hike on June 14th, then I do think that that could be sort of the resistance for this rally that we've had really since October up to that 4,200. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, I will be day trading this. Uh, there will be some juicy, juicy opportunities here. I did tell myself that I would take the week off uh, to enjoy the, the vacation. I haven't taken a full week off from trading in almost five years, I would say, maybe longer than that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> there might be opportunities that are too good to pass up. Uh, but again, if you want access to all of our day trading signals, how I'm trading this, I am looking more at bonds 
than stocks in terms of how to play this because I do think that there is an easier read uh, in bond futures than, than there will be in stocks. Uh, but yeah, if you want access to all of that analysis, my alerts, if you want access to the chats with thousands of traders talking about strategies, how they're going to be playing this, learning off one another, giving each other trade ideas as well. Link is in the description below. If you're seeing this before Memorial Day, make sure that when you book a call, you do mention the Memorial Day sale and take advantage of that. If you are approved for the Academy, would love to see you if you are approved. If you got anything out of this video, leave a big fat thumbs up. Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know if you think this will be a sell the news event or not. Let me know if you are buying, if you are selling the rally. Would love to hear from you guys. Try to respond to each and every comment. Again, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow my travels. Stay safe out there, traders. Peace.